Hi guys, this is Lori with LM's Crafty Creations and I am here with another project share. This is my project for the April Craftology box for CountryCraftCreations.com. Um, it is a monthly kit that Tamara has in her shop and, um, and it always just comes with beautiful paper and embellishments, everything you need to create an awesome project, whether you do cards or mini albums or whatever. And um, I really like how this turned out. This album is 7x7. Seven seven. It's a small album. It only has a 2-inch spine. And it's the same album that I showed you. If you're on the Country Craft Creations, Scrapbookers of Country Craft Creations Facebook page, it's the same one I did using the Authentique Dapper Collection. Okay, so I have a review of this one on my channel as well. Um, I just wanted to let you know that if you saw that um, style album and you liked it. So on the front cover here, what I have done is I took um, a cut apart from the collection and backed it on some design paper. And this already had a little ladybug picture on here, but this is a sticker from the collection, so I just backed them both on cardstock and stuck them here. Um, because it is, this is actually the Julie Nutting Seeds of Kindness collection. I don't think I mentioned that. And because it is a Ju Julie Nutting collection, I felt like I needed to do a doll, of course. I love Julie Nutting's dolls. This is the one that I used on the front cover and I just layered her dress and some of the design paper and just colored her in a bit and I think she turned out really cute. Kind of looks like she's sitting in a garden. Um, I used the flowers that Tamara sent in the box. The seam binding is and this little birdcage charm is so cute. On my flowers, I put a brad through a sequin for the center, and there's the spine. I used the uh, this cute polka dot trim that Tamara sent, and there's the back. So on the inside, it opens like this, and I just gave you a little space for a, a 3 by 4 photo here. I've been doing these little layouts in some of my albums and I really like how they turn out how you can just tuck your photo behind the little element here this is a cut apart from the collection and these are stickers so this opens up th well it does open up this way but see this is an envelope here I have a sticker from the collection here and just um, some matting right there but this is magnetized and it opens up this way to give you a waterfall feature so here is a little tuck spot. This is a three, this will hold a three by three photo. And then of course this is a little sticker from the collection right there. And here you can get two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven photos just right here on this waterfall. So I thought that was really cute. So it closes up like this with two magnets. And right here is a good size pocket. I've backed some of the 3x4 cut aparts on cardstock, and these mats are just 4 and a quarter by 6 and a quarter. And there's that really cute paper. This was one of my favorite papers in the collection. So, on this side, there's just a large belly band. Again, this is a cut apart backed on some of the design paper, and then a sticker from the collection here backed on cardstock. And then these slip out this way. I really want to, wanted to use this um, butterfly, jeweled butterfly. Can you see that? That Tamara sent in our kit. And so I ended up putting it on a photo mat because I didn't have anywhere else to put it. I thought it was really cute. And then I just added some seam binding there at the bottom. So it will hold a 4x6 photo. And then there's that cute bird paper in the background. So I just tuck this one in first because it's got all kinds of crazy stuff on it. There are um, large mats in the pockets. They're six and a quarter by six and a quarter, but I don't have any paper or anything on them, so I won't pull them out. On this side, I did a little booklet. This is a sticker from the collection, backed on cardstock, and this is magnet magnetic. Sorry, can't speak. And this flips up. So you have two room, two places for photos there, and then it flips open. And you can see my little notes to myself when I was creating. I didn't cover these with paper because um, your 4x6 photo is going to fit right, you know, almost, actually I cropped that one down. That's a bad example. How about there? There we go. 
you know, you're only going to have just a little space left because this is six and a half inches. So you could put just a, a tiny strip of design paper down there. That would be cute. Maybe I'll do that. So this opens this way, and you have a tuck spot here. This was a sticker from the collection, and then a small belly band. I have a regular photo mat in here. Then there's that cute uh, seed packet paper. And then I like to do these photo mats lately. Oh, and I messed up that corner, didn't I? Let's just glue that back really quick while I'm thinking about it and have my glue. Um, so I, what I do is I cut this, um, well at first I start out cutting it by six and a quarter by twelve, and then I just I score it at four and a quarter and eight and a half, and then I measure from this score line and cut it to three and a quarter so that I can get a three by four cut apart on there. And then down here I put a little strip of design paper and then some stickers that I backed on cardstock and cut out. And then here you would place your 3x4 photo there. So I really love these because it gives you a lot of space for photos. And a little opportunity for decorating a little bit too. On this side, um, you can see here this is where my um, ribbon trim is from the front cover. I have a sticker from the collection here and then two pockets. And I have two booklets. And they are just plain on the inside. I thought those were really cute. These are just stickers from the collection that, again, I backed on cardstock and cut out. Flip this over. You have a space for a four by six here. And then in this pocket, I put four and a quarter by four and a quarter photo mats. And these were just stickers and cut aparts from the collection that I used to decorate them. This is a cut apart and a sticker as well. And then these are um, four, two, four and a quarter by six and a quarter photo mats. Close that, flip this open. On this side, it is a belly band, so you have a photo mat in the back, and there's that cute birdhouse paper. But this opens up. This is a cut apart and then some stickers from the collection. And it opens this way. So you can get two, four, six photos here. And then it just has this little ribbon that ties and keeps it closed. I thought that was really cute. A good place to hold lots of photos. Here is a little envelope type feature. This is a sticker from the collection. It is magnetized. So it flips, it opens up and then flips it down. There's a little cut apart here. This is a sticker from the collection. And then you have, I just let this blank for a photo. It will be smaller than four by six. And then here I put some, um, let me move this out of the way so I can get it all in frame. Some design paper here and then a sticker from the collection. And then again, I have, these are smaller photo mats, like four and a quarter by five and a half. And this is a three and a quarter by three and a quarter mat with a, a sticker on it. And then there's that cute paper. I love the shovel paper. Okay, now, this I just left blank for um, either a portrait or landscape photo will fit on this page depending on how you decorate it and I just put a sticker from the collection right there and then on the back you have a pocket just like on the front and there's that cute paper again that's my favorite and then just a sticker from the collection backed on more of the design paper and here these are full-size photo mats whoops and then you have um, one four and a quarter by four and a quarter mat and then this is just a cut apart from the collection on the top and then two three and a quarter by four and a quarter mats with the cut aparts and that is it it's a little album it holds a lot of photos and I think it turned out really cute you can see that there's still plenty of room to put your photos and um, 
I hope you like it and I hope you make one. It does hold, you know, several four by six photos and it would be a great project to put all those adorable Easter pics in of your kids and grandkids that I know that you all have. So thanks for watching.